let's talk about important terminology here i will be dealing with habitat microhabitat and niche so let's begin with habitat here now to explain habitat i'm taking one example here let's say sonu goes to fifth a class every day he goes to fifth a and study there so it means that is its habitat now habitat does not include only physical space where organism is living it also includes a biotic component it means who all are friends of sonu who all are his competitors so all these biotic components with which he is related that also includes habitat so generally students they think that habitat includes only abiotic factors but you have to be very much clear about it that it includes both abiotic as well as biotic component so now we can look at the definition here it is space where an organism lives so it is address of an organism yes it is specific place where it is found it includes both biotic as well as abiotic factors yes look at this now spirogyra its habitat is fresh water pond yes for monkey habitat is trees now what is this micro habitat when we say micro habitat it means we are becoming more specific just now i have told you that spirogyra habitat is fresh water pond but where spirogyra is found is it found at the bottom of pond edge of pond or it is free floating here spirogyra is not attached to the bottom rather it is free floating it is present in this area so this represent micro habitat of that organism so when we say micro habitat it means we are becoming more specific now let's talk about niche now in niche first thing which you must not forget that term niche it was given by the scientist grinnell now niche represent status of individual of a species in the environment it is just like biodata it is cv of individual so in cv what information you give you give your address you give your profession so just like that niche represent biodata or cv of individual in the environment it is curriculum vitae of that individual now this niche includes three aspects yes three aspects are spatial niche functional niche and multi dimensional niche so let's first talk about spatial niche it represent part of habitat occupied so it tells physical space where organism lives not only that it also gives information about functional role what is profession of that individual if it forms food then that individual is producer if it is dependent on others for food then it is consumer and if organism is involved in decomposition of organic matter then organism is decomposer so this represent address of individual and this represent profession of individual the third type of aspect is multi dimensional aspect which means range of environment condition that an organism can tolerate to explain this let's take example of archaebacteria archaebacteria has ability to tolerate temperature which can be as high as 100 degree celsius so range of temperature condition which can be tolerated by an organism that represent multi dimensional aspect of niche now you have to keep this in mind for no two species niche can be exactly same for no two species niche can be exactly same it means for each species niche is distinct why it is so if niche would be same all the requirements will be same and this will lead to competition yes so why it is so because no two species are believed to occupy exactly the same niche because it increases chance of competition then there is one question for you what do you think that for having high biodiversity or region which has high biodiversity like tropical rainforest there niche is 
जर्नलाइज्ड और स्पेशलाइज्ड व्हाट डू यू से व्हेन वी से जर्नलाइज्ड इट मींस ऑल द स्पीशीज दे हैव ऑलमोस्ट सेम निश and when we say specialized it means that species they have different niche so what do you think that in tropical rainforest species diversity is so high so they have generalized niche or specialized niche if they will have generalized niche it means their requirements they are same if requirements are same this will lead to competition and in competition inferior species will eliminate elimination of inferior species will occur so surely this will decrease diversity so for having high biodiversity species they must have a different different niche and what do you call this as this is known as a niche specialization so tropical rainforest which has high biodiversity it is not due to niche generalization rather it is due to niche specialization and what is the reason behind that reason is that organism occupying same niche show competition and this will lead to elimination of inferior species and surely it will decrease biodiversity now at the end we are going to talk about ecological equivalent now to explain this let's take example of cat and owl cat and owl they feed on shrews and mice yes what is their profession their profession is to feed upon shrews and mice it means they have same functional niche they have same profession they have same profession but their home their habitats are different owls they inhabit deserted area desert region however cats they are present in area where humans are present it means you are going to say they have same profession but habitats are different what do you call such type of organism says such type of individual says individuals which have same profession same functional niche but they have different special niche you call them as ecological equivalent so let's take up one question here ecological equivalent mean for two similar ecological niche in same geographical location that's wrong two similar ecological niche in two different geographical locations that's wrong organisms that occupy similar ecological niche yes they have same function but in different geographical location that's right organisms that occupy different ecological niche in different geographical location yes so this is wrong so our right answer here is option number 3 So this is all about important terminology so now we are going to talk about differences in temperature variation in temperature with respect to two gradients that is latitude and altitude